the markets have had a good run, especially the Dow, or not especially, one of them being the Dow, coming off the cradle pattern, which is a very identifiable candlestick reversal signal uh, or pattern, as well as a projection of a very high profit uh, trend afterwards. Note that we had doji doji, bullish confirmation. Today, although it was sluggish, the T line is a very strong factor, or a very strong indicator to tell us very simply that when you see a candlestick pattern or signal, yeah, although we saw some uh, backing and filling today, the T line, which is a very high probability trend analyzer that tells you we're in an uptrend. To re even refine that, when you have a strong price move, we use the three T line, and as you will note, even today's selling off didn't even breach the three T line, which still gives us a good impression or the good indication we're still in a strong uptrend. That same trend analysis uh, feature can also be applied to the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq did a flutter kicker type signal, a very strong reversal signal. It broke out through this downtrending channel on what we call a trend kicker signal. The kicker signal is one of the strongest signals in the candlestick universe, usually a reversal signal, but it also demonstrates a very strong trend indication uh, when it occurs in an uptrend. Today's sluggish trading, as you'll note, didn't even wasn't even able to close below the T line. Now, for day traders or swing traders, it allows for the uh, detection of if they close this or start trading below the T line after kind of the little bearish harami signal, that tells us we're going to at least move back to the, uh, I'm sorry, the three T line. We're going to at least move back to the T line, which allows for profit taking and getting ready to buy right back in if everything supports on the, the T line. However, in the longer uh, conditions, as long as the indexes stay above the T-line, we're in an uptrend. Knowing what the breakout uh, patterns are forming, especially when the market's not showing any, uh, any doubt as far as investor sentiment, that this investor sentiment is still building up. Buying calls or buying Wendy's stock yesterday on the close with the anticipation that with stochastic still heading up, that if they open it positive, they could be breaking this out to the upside. Makes it very simple. Where's our next target? Well, you can draw the trend right here. Somewhere up in that trajectory is where this uh, price move could go to. That same rationale or same analysis can be applied to NQ. Also, a slow rounding curve, morning star type signal, trading up above the T-line, closing right at the, uh, the the top of the trading. If this opens positive, that means it's breaking out. Same scenario. Where's the target? Take this trend and project it out, and that's where the potential upside is. This is not rocket science. This is merely using the price patterns and signals that Japanese rice traders have illustrated for 400 years of how investor sentiment usually works. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.